Hi there, I'd like to tell you about some of the things that I've just recently been adding to the archive website. This is Stephen Ness, one of the people who's working on the archive. And if you just go to the recordings page, just as a normal uh, visitor, you'll see just the same thing you always have. You'll, you'll see the uh, uh, spectrogram here. You can listen to work of vocalizations. And you can also see the lab book pages down below. And that's like uh, it always was. But if you have annotator access, we can go ahead and log in. And once we've logged in, uh, we're going to get a whole catalog down below. So um, we can identify regions on the spectrogram, like say this one. So let's just go and zoom in a little bit. So we're trying to find a call that sounds something like that. So we'll just go ahead and hold down the control key and click and drag. And then we'll just start clicking on some of these, trying to find something that sounds similar. So N1. Oh, no, it's not at all like that. How about uh, N2? No, it's not really at all like that. How about an N3? No. What an N4. Oh, well. Oh, that's pretty similar, actually. So this is another N4, but it's from the A30 matriline, rather than this first one, which is from the A12 matriline, as we can see down on this side over here. And this is N4 from the A36, so... Oh, it's hard to say. Well, at least it's an N4. We're pretty sure about that. And then we can go and find other regions on the tape of calls that we can identify. And I can kind of probably see an N4 there. But let's go to somewhere where we're a little bit more confident of what's going on. Like maybe this call here. And this one, I'm still not really sure myself about it. Um, but I was thinking about calls like um, maybe an N11 or an N10. So I'm going to call it an N10 A12, but um, that's just me. It would be really interesting to see what a better expert thinks about that. So thank you very much. This is uh, Stephen Ness Ness, and I have coded all of this up. Uh, still, the base application is Ruby on Rails, but all the coding was done on Django, and all of this stuff that you see down here is all HTML5 that's communicating via um, external interfaces with this Flash um, socket, uh, this Flash player here. So thank you very much, and uh, talk to you soon. Come visit.